heard something. So I got a word in me. I hear something. I, someone whispered something next door, and all of a sudden I got a witness to something that's been in my spirit. So I'm wondering about this thing that the Lord has planted in me, but God supernaturally allowed me while I was riding down the highway, turn on the radio, what pops up? But the same thing that's in my spirit. I end up at that church and the preacher preaches the same thing in my spirit. I go home, turn on the, 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 the TV and the word network that the preacher is preaching the same thing. All of a sudden I have a wit. A witness. And so I'm not just plugged in spirit, spiritually, but now I'm spiritually. I'm plugged into truth. Everybody's witnessing. That, that's the kind of thing that went on this weekend. When one came right after the other, after the other, and was just on one after the other, just bringing us because it plugged into truth. When you're in there, you, you know that something special is going on right now. Right now. So it's that. Yeah, it's what now this woman. Now, it's, it's interesting, this woman at the well, because um, listen to what, she, what she's, 28th verse says, then leaving her water jar, mm -hmm. the woman went back to town yeah. mm -hmm. and said to the people, oh. come <laughs> see a man who told me everything, everything. I ever now, uh, she was a babe, she back, back off. Mm -hmm. So just, she didn't have a word in her. So what the Lord did was confirm this truth by her experiences. Yeah. And immediately allowed her to be powerful. Cause she, oh, that's it. That's all she had to say. Amen. What happens when you stop going around and saying, Come see somebody who confirmed in my spirit. Hallelujah. What he had already said. Mm -hmm. She said, could this be the Messiah? Of course, the folks that uh, came out of the cities and, and um, heard Jesus for themselves and uh, connected to him. Uh, many believe. So it's in that regard now, he comes into his home territory, his home where folk didn't believe because Come on, Bishop. they were stuck yes. mm -hmm. on what they have seen. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Mary's son? Familiar. Come on. Didn't he grow up right Commonality. here? Wasn't mm -hmm. he among us? Uh, don't we know his brothers and his sisters? sisters. How could he be the Messiah? Right, right, right. And because of their lack of faith, not many miracles were done. That's right, Bishop. They did not believe. Mm -hmm. And so when he came back home, they started um, getting all happy that he came back home. Not necessarily that they believed, but that he had done signs and wonders in Jerusalem. And see, and, and, and that's like some of us, some of us at home, okay, all right, now, I, I heard what you say, Lord, but what I want you to do, I want you to uh, um, slam the door and uh, have the TV on when I get home and we're looking for all kinds of signs. With our crazy self. <laughs> With our crazy self. And if only one sign happened, we'd probably be scared to death. We was, <laughs> but the door slam, bam! Why am I wondering why you're running down? When you're plugged in spiritually, if sign and wonders happen, that's nice. Yeah. But for a mature saint, Ooh, that's not what we the Lord ought to be just able, because I'm in the city. Sometimes I'm going to be in a situation that all I need is a word. I don't have time for a miracle. I don't have time for a sign. 
right around when this man is, is asking because said, unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. So he, he looks at this leader and said, well, are you part of this group here? Because all they want is signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. The royal officials said, and this is what I like, remember that, that man who was by the well? For some, some 40 years since uh, when he was coming down, Jesus was asking him, Jesus went off on him too, you know. He, uh, 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 the, man, the man had been there all them years. 38. And Jesus came and asked him, do you want to be healed? Come here! <laughs> the problem is that if I want to be, I'm, that's why I'm here. That, that, that's why I'm here. Uh, all I've been doing is trying to get somebody to help me. Or let me put it a little different way. All I've been doing is trying to get somebody to agree with me to take me to the pool. Oh, a miracle can happen if somebody just can't agree with me. Jesus said, well, I guess I'm the right one. Woo! Hallelujah! You have to wait to the right one. I agree with you. The man didn't go through any changes, didn't oh, yeah. anything else. Said, that's what I needed. He grabbed his bed and got up. Ooh. So he says here, let's see what he says. So the royal, remember that man had, had to, how he brought Jesus to attention. If you go there, he said, he said sir. This, this one did so too. So it must have been a big thing back then. Ooh, sir. Uh, sir, that's how you get everybody. So, sir. Sir. <laughs> the royal official says, Sir, come down before my child dies. You're doing all this talking. <laughs> I wouldn't be here asking you to come down to my son. I wouldn't be here asking you to come down to him. Don't worry about these folks. <laughs> Come to my house. <laughs> now, I'm saying this, I want to point out something to you. Sometimes you just got to get indignant. Woo! Amen, Lord. Amen. Ha! <laughs> if they ain't fasting, that's them, Lord. If they're not praying, Hey, thank you, God. Thank 